Got it. All right. I greet all of us today. You're all welcome for a lecture class in accounting. We've been dealing with church accounting. And uh, last time we concluded the book of accounts. But as I said, that the book of account is subdivided into two, two subsections. We mentioned the, the subsidiaries and the ledgers. And uh, we talked about ledgers. We mentioned some of the subsidiary books of accounts. And of course, we must understand that the book of regular entry deals with the price treatments of data or information before we book them to the general ledgers. So that this, uh, this afternoon, we're going to talk a uh, look at the ledger. Don't forget that ledger is split into two. We have two sections of ledgers. Ledger, we have here, we have the personal or personal, and we have impersonal. In personal ledger. Now the personal ledger is that uh, ledger that deals with accounts of individuals or organizations or corporate persons, which includes sales ledger and then purchases ledger. Now the personal ledger has to do with those uh, data that uh, involve the private information of the owners of the business. For example, we talk about the profits, we talk about the capital, we talk about withdrawals made by the, the owner of the business. But specifically, we want to look at the ledgers. What is ledger in the first place? Because we need to understand what ledger is all about. We say that ledger are simply the books in which accounts are prepared. It should be noted that the extractions of relevant details of business transactions from the subsidiary books, that is, books of original entries, for onward record in the ledgers is known as posting. If you remember the cycle of accounting I did the other time, I have stages or a process. We have the transactions or events you need to identify. Then after you identify the events, you record the events, and after recording the events, you move next to the recording. Post, I mean, posting of these information, uh, the items are recorded in the books into ledgers. Then from the ledgers, we moved it to summary, and from summary, we moved it to uh, the report needed. And all these stages as critical information that you must have to recognize before you can actually prepare the account. Now, this explains why it is also referred to general journals, because it contains the other, the principal journals. Now, um, ledger as I just, as I said, the sorry, ledger, a ledger is also known as a principal book of accounting, and it could be, could be number one, the purchases journals, as I said here, the purchases ledger, rather, and then two, the sales ledger. Now, the purchases ledger is always abbreviated as PL, representing policy ledger. Now the policy ledger is meant for the preparation of only the accounts of an entity, entity from whom goods or raw materials are purchased on credit. And uh, as I said, that in purchase journals or the purchases they books deal with the accounts of the suppliers that supply goods to you on credit. So when two supply goods are created, you have to prepare them individually. But when you come to the journals, I mean, you have to prepare them in a cluster, group them. But when you come to uh, what is journals or ledger, 
click there. So any type of accounts or this type of accounts must be prepared in a ledger form. So the sales ledgers, sales ledgers is always abbreviated as LSL. SL. This ledger is strictly meant to be used for the preparation of only the accounts of entities to whom goods are sold on credit. It should be noted that any other types of accounts must not be prepared in this ledger. So these sales ledger specifically deals with the goods you sold on credit. Then the next one is general ledger, abbreviated as GL. This is the only ledger in which all types of accounts, either personals or impersonals, can be prepared, especially those accounts which cannot be prepared in any other any of the other ledgers mentioned. It is also known as nominal ledger. So you can look at the categories of ledgers, you know the meaning of ledgers, and then look at the branches and the, the branches of ledger. Now let's look at cash book because today we need to do some calculation. Now cash book, cash book is abbreviated as CD. He has a ledger. This is meant for the preparation of only two accounts. Two accounts, cash accounts, that is a real account, and bank account, and that is a, a personal account. It, it source documents include cash invoices, tax stops, bills of exchange, deposit slips, withdrawal slips, and cash receipts. It should be noted that the cash book is the only book of account that serves as a subsidiary post and at the same time serves as a ledger as a ledger. In this respect, the cash book is basically uh, of two types. Sometimes we call it three, let's call it three, three types. And what are the types of cash books? You remember that we dealt with this before. We have a single column, one single column cash book. Two, we have double column cash book. Three, we have three full or three column cash, three column cash book. And the format is the same. The only difference is that in a single column cash book, you only have only one column for amounts. That is just different here. Yeah? In a single column cash book, you only have only one column for bank. Number two, in the double column cash books, there's an additional column called bank. So that means that you are going to have a column for cash book, and the same time you are going to have a column for bank. Don't forget that account is in T forms, divided into two thick uh, thin lines. You have the left, you have the right. The right hand side, the left hand side is called the debit, while the right hand side is called credit. So there's a thick line, just as I'm standing like this, you can see it's standing there are two hands here, the left and the right. So the left side here represents your debit side, while the, the right hand side represents your credit side. So in the double column cash book, say you have the, the dead columns there, you have the description columns, then you have the follow columns, and after the follow column, you have the cash amount column, then you have the bank. The same is duplicated on the right hand side. So that, that makes different between the double and the single. Now the third one is a triple column cash or three column cash book. Now you see that here there is additional columns added to the second one. Because in the second one the double you have only two amounts columns. But this one now the triple the three column cash book or the triple column cash books there's a difference, another column is added, and this column is to be taken care of another amount. We call it discount. We have two discounts discount allowed and discount received. So that is the format there. So 
the in very few cases, especially where payments are made, are made only by cash or by check. The cash book can be referred to as this one here is simple if you only deal with, especially you say, okay, I want to deal with only cash book or only can receive. Then you don't want to bring in the bank transaction or checks. But that one can use a simple column size, a simple column cash books. Now, the only difference between the three, the three cash book and the, the three column cash book and the two column cash book is often in the format, as I earlier explained to us before. So, we are going to look at this. Now, if I do treat this, what are the things we need to do? Uh, in the last class, before we jump to what we did last week, and explain to us that once you come to the sales tables and sell journals, I mean, uh, sell, sell the for sales journals, or what you call purchases player table uh, or purchases journals, you discover that these two accounts are definitely dealt with credit issues. Now, in the sales journals or sales book, you deal with all the things you sell some credits. You are selling out on credit. And of course, when you sell this good of credit, you want to motivate or encourage your customer to come, you can create an avenue whereby you can give some discounts to your, to your customers. And the same thing, by the the person supplying goes to you on credit also. My father wants to give you some credit also and some allowances to motivate you, to encourage you, maybe to make you pay on time. So we are going to look at example here today while we are going to deal with this in a comprehensive note. Now the question we are going to deal with today, you can write it down, look at them. The question is, do uh, the following and do the following entry and the double entry of the following transactions carried out by marvelous ventures? Balance the accounts and extract a try balance at 30th April 9th, uh, 2005. Now we're going to look at this. What was deal with all aspects of these accounts? We are going to prepare different types of books and eventually now create a try balance for the account. Let's look at this one. On face of April. Face of April. Hold on. Let me write. On the first April, April first, two four four five, receipts, cash of seventy five. Thousand naira from its proprietor. Then, on the second of April, twenty five, another transaction took place. Opened a current. Okay, current. On the 2nd of April 2005, opened a current account with business cash of 45,000 naira. On that same day, 2nd April of 2005, he paid, paid the rents of 15,000 by cash. On the 4th of April of 2005, receivables valued at 35,000 from its proprietor. On the 8th of April 2005, return goods to Ake products 4,500 and best deal. 3,000 Naira. Then on the 10th of April of 2005, so goes on credits. So, following Divine Favor, 
40,000 naira, Mirago store, 25,000 naira. Then on the 12th of, sorry, on the 11th of April, 2005, refreshment for proprietor's guests, paid by cash, 1,500. On the 12th of April, 2005, goods returned by the following divine favor, 4,000 naira, water goods, and Pirago stores, 2,000 naira. Then on the 16th of April, 2005, purchased a set of furniture for 20,000 by cash. And then on the 19th of April, 2005, purchased a goods bought 48,000 naira by checks and sold a very bold 15,000 by check. On the 27th of April, 2005, proprietor paid his personal cash of 15,000 into the, into the accounts, into the bank accounts. And then on the 24th of April, 2005, sold a piece of furniture for 4,000 sorry, on credit to Mr. Bright. And on the 25th of April 2005, bought a vehicle for 25,000 naira on credit from Slakes Auto Limited. And on the 26th of April 2005, the vehicle sold for 15,000 naira by checks on, on 19th April of April 2005 was returned to the buyer scratch. Renewals and, re and a refund of 10,000 was made by cash. Then on the 28th of April 2005, paid Ake Kuto City 2,000 naira less 5% cash discount by check. Then on the 30th of April 2005, received payment from Miracle Stores. 23,000 naira less three percent cash discount by chance and uh, divine favor 20,000 naira by cash on the 17th of April paid by check salaries 19,500 and the proprietor's residential rate 5,700 naira. These are the typical complex questions that include. All the things we have been discussing, and apart from the tri balance, but we are going to bring it to tri balance. But I will explain that later. Now, essential notes we need to look at to the original entry of business transactions. Start preparing number one, purchasing journal, and follow it with the returns, upward journals, and then prepare your sales journals. And follow it up with the returns in words journals and then prepare general journals. If necessary, and end up the original entry with preparation of cash books, which also marks the beginning of the double entry. And the principle of double entry that every credit entry must have a corresponding debit entry. So as I'm going to prepare this, do to, to the double entry of business transaction, start with the preparation of cash book, prepare one account at the time, individual account. That is, do every necessary credit entry and debit entry in one account, and then balance the account before moving towards to prepare any other accounts. In fact, that implies that while preparing the part any particular account, look at look at um, uh, look at for every business transaction related relating to the account. Every necessary debit and credit entry in a, in the account, and then balance the account before preparing any other account. This is the best approach to take, especially if you must beat time or strength. In bookkeeping or in examinations, you need to just let it the way I just uh, listed down. Now we are going to take this question 
as I said, number one thing is we are going to prepare uh, the purchases. The book. You look at that questions, and there's some who that was applied to Magnus Ventures on the credits because you need to look at them. Look at items should go to the purchases journals. Which items should go to the sell journals? Which items should go to the um, to the returns inward? Which one will go to return outward? And then look at which one will go to the cash book. That's the first thing you need to do in exams. You look at each of these one to just indicate them so that once indications have been made, then you can now switch into switch into the actual computations and the preparation of the account. So let's look at number one. If you look at that question, you discover that on the on the fourth of April, because we're taking starting from the Portis journals, or what is the book? On the fourth of April, you can see that what goods on credit from who best deals, best deals sell goods to this man or to the venture at the rate of. 28,000 naira and another person, the arcade product, 35,000, 36,000 naira. That, so, what do we do now? We prepare the accounts, purchases, journals. What do you do? Uh, this is purchases. What is this? The book. Okay. What is this? The book. Don't forget that what you're reading. You are now here. This is your debit. And this is your credit. You wish or leave it here. Then what do you do? You have to add column. Here, that column, that column, then you have your particular column at the supplier. Particular, particulars. Then you have, once abbreviated, have the amount column. This is amount, and let's include great invoice. Source number. Then amount. Now we're saying that on the fourth of April, twenty o five. Best, best back in supply goods at what rates? There's only time we just put the amount here, eight thousand naira. Then on the same fourth of April, twenty o five, another goods was supplied by Ever Green. Evergreen products. And that was thirty six thousand five hundred naira. Then since there was no other purchase uh, items of that on debit or the on credit, you can sum this up at the thirty first, thirtieth of April, twenty o five. You have a total. Total amount for the month. This will be five zero zero, and this will be four, and this will be six. So you have a total of sixty four thousand five hundred naira. Now, what to prepare it because you discover that as in the contents of the questions, we will discover that these individuals some goods will return back to them by marvelous ventures. So the next account you are going to. 
here will be returns upwards. Sorry, it will be returns upwards. So here is another one here. Return upwards groups. Have a dead columns here. You have the particular here. Then you have uh, you can have the sort documents. You have the amounts. You talk to them. So what do you have here? When, when was good returned? If you go to the on the tenth of April, twenty o five. Sorry, on the on the eighth. Of April, can you see that on the 8th of April? Look at the question return goods. This return goods here is returned outward because this person they divined, um, div sorry, uh, agate products and the best deal with the people that supply the goods to this man. So he said here on the 8th. Of April 2005, what do you have here? You have Evergreen, Evergreen products. How much are returns? That product, I products. Uh, is um, what four thousand. 500 naira. Then on the same age, 04, 25, you can see also that best deal, best also returns another good for 3000 naira. If you go to the old questions, you will not see any returns of goods upwards. By any of these individuals that supply you, so you need to sum it up. Get a total, this will be 7,500 total return. So this is total as I take the 8th of April 2005. So that ends there. Now the next accounts we are going to prepare. Because I told you the essential in our notes, the essential notes, what or what you must consider. So we are finished the first one, the purchase journals, and then we are prepared the returns upward journals. Then the next one is to, for us to prepare sales journals. Because in the question here, we are told that Marvelous Ventures also sold some goods on credit. So we need to bring them into the account. So we are now going to prepare sales. Journals or sales tables. The format is the same. The format is the same. So this one now is sales sales table or sales journals. Now, and this one here, I'm just going to be returned inwards. Because some goods were returned by the customers in which Marvelous Ventures sold. So they are going to return some goods back to the company. So that is the reason why we are going to get returned inward journals or playbook. So this will be returned inwards book. Now, look at the question now. On the 10th of April 2005, you can see that goods, uh, sold goods on credit to divine pay for 40,000 and the miracle stores 25,000. I don't think we have any other ones that were sold on that day. So you bring it on the 10th of April, 10th of April 2005, who is there? We have to find people. This book was sold to divine favor. At what amount? 40,000 naira. Then another one, that same bill was sold to 
Miragusto. Miragusto. Some goods were sold to them on credit. How much? 25,000 naira. And I told you that when something in prison like this is given to you, the first thing that you need to do is just for you to use some pencil on your viral to just take those, identify them to their self individual account, take them, and then put some indication. If you want, the one that goes to sell the product SDB, the one that goes to audience journals, just put uh, anyhow so that you will enable you will enable you to fast track and answer your questions. So there was no other news sold on credit by this marvelous. So we now sum this up together. So this will give us 65,000 naira total goods sold on credit. So this is total as a 30th of April 2005. That is that what the total that was made on credit sales. Now the next account will be that where we have some good that these customers returned. Some of the good that the customer returned to Miracle Ventures. If you look at 12 of um, 12 of April from the questions, 12 of April, you can see that the goods returned. These goods they were restored by divine favor and the miracle, miracle store. So this will warrant us to prepare what returned inward journals. So who and what is involved in that in divine favors and miracle stores, just as you see here in the sales labels, these people they were actually put um were actually uh, supply goods on credits by miracle ventures. So now I told you this is why some goods are returned. Maybe there are some issues not meeting on the specifications, maybe on transit, some of the goods are damaged, maybe and there are some reasons that some goods might be returned back to the supplier, by the seller, also the buyer. So you discover here that there was a this person here, the buyers and the miracle stores, or some Miracles and ventures, but as the arrival of the goods, they discovered that some of the goods were not meeting up with their expectations. So they are not returning. So they are not telling us that on the 12th of April 2005, Divine Venture, Divine Ter, yes, Divine Venture, returned some goods worth what? 4,000 Naira. Now, on the same 12th of April 2005, you discover that this person also, Miracle Store, Miracle Store, returns some goods worth 2,000 Naira. So the total return inwards at that period was. 6,000 worth, 6,000 Naira worth of goods. This is total return inwards as at 30th of April 2005. Now, once I finish with this, the next account, you know that I said that the general journals is actually used for those items that might not be treated in either portion journals. In the return upward journals or sales <coughs> or sales day book or returns, those items that are not dealt with here must be treated in accounts we call general journals. And uh, in general journals, we are going to look at if you look at uh, the 5th of April, 5th of April, and also look at the 24th of April. On the 5th of April, some uh, um, things happened here. Receive variables, values than 5,000 from its uh, proprietor. That should be treated either in the purchases or sales or returns. And uh, if we look at 24th also, sold pieces of furniture of 4,000 on credit to Mr. Bright. 
So these items are not expected to be treated in the in the uh, cells of bodies donors. That's why we're going to treat them in the general journals. Now, how do we treat that? Let's look at the treatments in general journals. In the general journals, I hope you are calling. Let's look at general journals. General journal. It's meant for those items that have not been treated in either purchases or sales tables or sales journals. Now we just call this journal general journals. The items involved here. Number one, you consider your dead color. Two, you consider the description color. Four, you also include your folio columns. Then you get your debits and your credit columns. Now, this is this. This is their columns. This is description columns. And then this folio. And this is debit and then the credit. One show that, don't forget that we are dealing at this point, we are dealing with the double entry principle. And the account should not be one sided, like what is treated in the sales tables or what is treated in the purchase tables or even what is treated in the returns, both in and out. This one here, it must the transaction must be complete on the two arms, like debit. Now, which account do we debit and which account do we credit? Number one, on the 5th of April 2005, variable account. Forget the question. Federal accounts will be debited with 45,000 naira, while capital accounts, capital accounts, that's account that is put in brackets, put in bracket being variable. Received from who? From its proprietor. Very close. So you have it here 45,000. That means that the two arms of that account is complete. You have the debit side, you have the credit side, so the accounts. Is complete and that is in dealing with the double entry principle. Now, the next one is that in the early 24, there are bright accounts that there was a, a transaction that took place in the of April 2005. When this Bright, look at that question on the, on the 24th of April, so the piece of condition for 4,000 on credit to Bright. Um, Bright. Is the person dealing with that account? So you bring here. What do you do, Mister Bright? So what collected furniture in Mister Bright account? What do you have? You will debit four thousand naira, and then because this one was sold on the fourth of April, twenty o five, you have furniture accounts. Furniture account. If I let me put in brackets here, being a big narration, narration will be being a set of furniture. A set of furniture sold on credits. On credits. Sold on credits. So since this bright account is debited, then the furniture account 
it will be what will be there be our printed. Now the next one is just to if you look at that on the 25th of April also, you can see what actually happens in the transaction. Look at the 25th of April. On 25th, bought a vehicle for 25,000 on credit from Slex Autos Limited. So you will need to print this because it's an asset that you need to get to tell. So you write on 25th of April. What happened? You have payable account again. Payable account. What do you do with it? You debit your payable with five of it. Payable account to 25,000 Naira. And then you are going to credit on 25th of April 2005. You are going to credit the person that gives the bank. That is Slex. Slex Auto Limited. Auto Limited. You credit in with the same amounts. So you can now say that the two arms of the transaction is automatically uh, complete. So let me just put a brief note here so that you can understand why it is treated in this direction. Being variable for chase on credit. So there's no need to balance the deposit two sides of the account. Wow. So this is a general journal how to treat it. So the next one which is very crucial. Because you see that I told you that when we are going to answer this kind of questions or dealing with this kind of questions, you must understand that the first thing, don't forget the first principle. The first principle is going to pick your pencil or your binary tool, just identify those items and segment them into their different account units. Those ones that need to go to purchases journals, you put them, those ones that need to go to returns, annual journals, you put them, this one that need to get into the sales journal to just indicate them. And the one that need to go to general uh, journals. And if you look at the general journals, you can see that it deals with fixed assets and and these are what we call the um, uh, impersonal. Uh, look at the way it is now, the variables, the capital, with the and furniture and so forth. So you deal with them in this manner. So the next item, when you read that question, you discover that on the first, there was an amount that the man used in starting the business. And then on the second of that month, he, you can see what he did with the. On the second, you can see that he opened current account with forty five thousand naira cash. And then on the nineteenth of April, you see him that there was money that came in because of disposal of this. Uh, see this disposal. They, they look at here when the goods uh, were disposed when the asset was. Then we see that for this asset furniture disposal account, disposal account this is when the asset was disposed. Then on the twenty second of April, you can see that the writer paid his personal uh, cash of fifty thousand naira into the bank account. Don't forget that that will make us a double entry. Now on the thirtieth of April, you can see that. There was something that happened the 30th of April. 30th of April, paid check or received, the former received payment from Mirabu Stores, 23,000 less 3% cash discount by check and divine favor, 20,000 naira by cash. And then to so look at the text yet, we are again paid by check, salaries to the staff, 19,500. And then to write to his resident was paid. With seven thousand five hundred, so this item can store the remote details in the cash book. Let's look at cash book. Don't forget that cash books can be deal with or deal with cash transaction. The cash that goes to the bank. The other time I told us the sources we get cash. There are various ways you can get cash. Can be direct cash transactions. 
whereby Christ is paid directly to you, it can only be that all the cash is being paid through electronic means like uh, POS, can be uh, e transfers, and so forth. It can be direct transfers. And that is exactly what we are doing with Christian because of the explosion of the uh, um, technology. So we look at the cash account, cash books. We are preparing marvelous uh, cash, venture cash book, cash book, cash book. Now, this cash book, don't forget that we have elements of discount. We have uh, uh, we have bank column because some of the items were treated directly cash and some were treated in the bank. So we are going to use in this aspect on the double column cash book for now. Let's look at this. Don't forget the ruling. We have here the debt column, the first one. Debt. Then we have the description. There are various ways or names for description. I kept repeating that in our classes or lectures. So we have uh, folio columns. Then we have cash columns. Um, what's it? Okay. So that I can enter. Yes. Divide this board into two sections with a thick line or double line the middle to segment the debit and the credit. This is your debit side and this is your credit side. So, and I told you that it is in T form. So now that we have the particulars here, the rest of the folio here. And this one will be two amounts column. Don't forget that two amounts column. This will be your folio, and this will be your cash amounts, and this one will be your bank column amount. So the same will repeat itself on this side. You have your debt columns. And then you have your description columns. And then you have your folio also. The ball is small. And then you have your two amounts column. I hope you know that this is what we call double column cash flow. So you put your folio here. And then you put your cash column naira signs. Then your bang and then their assigned. Okay, that's a format. So I'm going to fix the information as implied and applied to the questions. So on the 1st of April, 1st April of 2005, what happens? The money that the owner of that business is starting the business. The other man loans the money, give the money to the business. So we call that capital. That's what the man put here. Now, please, the capital was what form? Was it through bank or was it through cash? The question said it was cash. How much was it? It was 75,000 naira. Now, on the 2nd of that April, there was a cash transaction that took place. On the 2nd, we are told that paid rent. Pet rent. Pet rent. Where? Sorry, it um, was uh, paid. Uh, look at the second. Open a current account with what? With business account. Pay cash into business account. What was there? Don't forget that this and uh, this particular will be involved. What we call contra entry because he moved cash to bank. 
And I told you that when money is moving from uh, two sources, for example, you move money from bank, from cash to bank, or from bank to office, that transaction will be treated under what we call contract. And appreciation for contract is always C. So here we see that uh, on the second, 45,000 naira was paid to the bank. So we call it what was the form? It was cash that moved to where? The bank. How much was it? 45,000 naira. Then the same thing will repeat to complete the double entry transaction. On the second of April 2005, the description was that bank is now received. So don't forget that it's going to be received here and show that is the contra entry. The word form was for the 5,000 naira that the bank received. So then on the 19th of April, sorry, on the still on the second of April, paid rent. Rent, one is going out, so it should be treated on the credit side. So he said on the second of April 2005, what did this venture does? They pay rent. Rent was it paid in cash or by check? What I that was cash and was paid to bring it under cash for the amount of the year? It was 15,000 naira. Then on the 19th, 19th April, on the 19th, purchase goods. In what form? Purchase goods, 48,000 naira by check, and sold a payable by what? So you, actually, we're dealing with that which was the sold. Look at what happened. He uh, bought uh, Bible souls. Bible souls. So he said that 19 April 2005, Bible disposal. Uh, Bible disposal. Disposal. In what form? What was the form? 15,000 data by check. 15,000 will come through. Bank because it is by check. Now, on the 24th of April, you can see that the proprietor pay additional money on the 4th April, 24th April, 24th April, 24th April, proprietor paid his personal cash for 50,000 into the bank. So you said here. Uh, we have we have done some uh, some business. So look at eleven before we come to that uh, nineteen. Eleven on eleven refreshments for proprietors paid by what form by cash. So in answer well, on eleven eleven of April twenty o five. What happened? Refreshments or the refreshments. Refreshment. What was the forms? Was it cash? Yes, cash of what? 1,500. And on the 16th of that time, some money were used to buy furniture. So it says 16 of April 2205. What do you have there? Furniture. Furniture were purchased. How much was in cash? 20,000 was used to cash on this thing. Then on this uh, 19, 19, some goods were purchased or bought. And it was by check. So you say 46. How much? 48,000 naira. And then on the 19, the value disposal in what form in 15. Now, the, on the 22nd of April 2005, proprietors made some additional capital and paid it to the company account. So, you call the capital. Where was it cash? No, it was 
faith there is to be found. So that's really thousand naira. Then on the 26th, some scraps were sold or were uh, uh, bought. Look at on the 26th of April, the Bible sold for 15,000 by Jake. On the 19th, April was returned to the buyer. Scraps. Scraps, renewals, and a reform of 10,000 was made by card. So by that we mean that we need to bring the scraps renewals of how much? 26 of April 2005. What happened? We have a scrap renewal. Scrap renewal. The word form was in cash less was the cash of 10,000 naira. Then on the 28th. 28, 28 of uh, April, what happened? 28, they bought some goods after they have subtracted 5% of that. So, 20, what? 28, April 05, what happened? Evergreen food up. How much was made? Thirty two thousand naira. Then on the thirtieth of April, salary was paid. Now, salary of how much? Salary of nineteen thousand. 500, sorry, uh, what how much is there? 70,500. What are the question? Thirteen April, the salary paid was 19,500. 19,500 check by check. Then on the 30th, Again, there was draws by the director, 38 April. Look at the questions there. 38 April, proprietor's residential rent it was withdrawn, not for business, but for the proprietor use. So we call that drawings. Drawings, and it was by J. Seven five hundred. Then on the thirteenth of April, also there were the transactions and bringing some money to transition, and that was by the marvelous. The thirteenth April received payment from who? Who was what? Was cash of how much? I shall pay the 3,000 naira. 23,000 naira. Then on that same day, that same day, what happened? On day, uh, check divine favor by check. Divine favor by check. Man favor by check. 38 April. Define favor. That's it. See. Here is cash, and here will be bank. 20. Sorry. 20,000. So we're now going to act together. Twenty-three thousand here. Let's add it together. Um, 
Let's look at it. We have our balances. If you add everything here, you have a difference of 38 April. Again, balance. If you add all these together, add the cash, add the cash, and then subtract to find the difference. The difference between the credits, the debit and credit here is how much? Is 3,500 naira. While this other side is 28,000. 28,000. Better. Now, if you add everything together here, you have the same amount. This will close the account. What do you have here? Here is 95,000 Naira. And here is one three three. Thousand Naira. Here is ninety five thousand Naira, and here is one three three thousand Naira. So that is the cash transaction. That is the cash the cash books. That is the models of the cash books. So a two column cash book was prepared here because cash discounts were not granted or received. Otherwise, we would have now prepared the three column cash book. So that is this. Now, we are, before we finally get off, we want to prepare, send all these items as prepared to their individual ledger accounts. So we are going to start the ledger account. We are finished with journals, both uh, sales, policies, general journals. And don't forget that we said that cash book can only be. The, the one they classified under uh, journals, the Gallic money comes under uh, ledger. So, uh, looking at the patterns and the way we have to work out this, and this is exactly what they're expected to do when they are preparing this account. As I said, let me remind you what I said that once a question like this is asked, the first thing for you to read the question and understand and know the practice and assessment where this item should be done as you go to. Mark them and indicate them so that after you have done that indications and then you know which one is treated in the cash books, which are treated in the journals and so forth, then you'll be able to just sit down and then spring them into computations. So let's look at the ledger of the account. The ledger account. We're going to start individual ledgers. Here we're going to prepare this on individually. Individuals items would have each account in the ledger. So let's move on. The first one is to prepare the cash, the capital accounts. Capital accounts is the first one, the first ledger we are going to prepare is the capital account capital accounts capital accounts you can do it in three shape this is debit and this is credit the ruling is not all that necessary but you should know which side is your debit and which side is credit now in the in the capital accounts so let me say complete it and avoid confusion. You have uh, what? You have the debt, the column. You have description of particulars. You have your folio and amounts. Folio, column, then amounts. The same thing repeats here. Dead columns. Then you have your description of particulars, have your folio, and then you have your amounts. 
put your uh, description here. Then you have your folio here. Then amounts. So let's drive in. So if you look at the question here, on the first of April, you have a cash of a cash first April 2005. You have cash. Therefore, instead by the director, how much was it? Seventy-five thousand there, and then you have photo papers here of how much on the fifth of April, twenty o five. Photo paper cash there. Photo papers how much? That is five thousand there, and then on the twenty-fourth, twenty-second rather of April, twenty o five. What do you have here? You have another bank. That is the money that the director transferred directly to the bank, and which was what? 50,000 naira. So you add together what you have. This is 000, and this is 160,000. You close it, and then balance carried down. From here, I say 30th of April 2005. Balance C means that CD means carry down. How much is it? One sixty thousand. You bring the balance here. So the two account is complete. That's how you end. So the next ledger you are going to prepare is model variables or variables accounts. I told you that the data will have to open an account for both of those items. So we're moving in variable accounts. Variable accounts. The same ruling here. In variable accounts, you have the debt column divided into two segments, two equal parts. So you have your debit and the credits. This is your debit side and this is your credit side. I hope you see it. Then this is your debt columns. Then this is your description columns. Description columns. And then this is your folio columns. If I this is a little a small folio columns, then this amount. So the same thing applicable here. You have your debt columns. Then you have your descriptions, whatever they want to call particulars or details, and then you have your folio columns, and then you have your amounts column. That's good. So let's move on. Then the next things you are going to do is to compute and extract them. This debt column, don't forget this. What do you do? If you look at that debt and the variables and the capital that was used, sorry, not the capital of this variable, but since we are preparing variable accounts, we need to complete the double entry. The account that is on the credit card to cross over to this other side, debit. So what do you have here? On the which day here? On the Fifth of oh this board is not fifth of April twenty o five. What do you have? You have your you have your capital here. What is there? Thirty five thousand naira. Sorry, it's not writing well. And then what again? The company that supplied the which was let. Which was Sled Company, Sled Limited. So the next ones will be on what date? On the 24th. Good. On the 24th of April 2005, the company that supplied the baby was Sled uh, Auto Limited. How much of the baby that Sled supplied? Is there 25,000 naira? 
Uh, was, was there any other thing? No. So we sum it up now. This will be zero and zero, and this is the zero, and this is the 60,000. This is what. So just like what we did here in the capital account, we moved the balance on the 30th of April. 30th of April 2005, what do you have your balance carried down? This to D, much in total is 60,000 naira. Then you close account together with what? So I'm on 60,000 naira. That ends this data. So the next one is the rent account. Rent account. Uh, let me clean this. I think you follow the flow. The first place here, so you need to move down. Let me clean this. This will be rent account. Every other information remain. Apart from the name of the account, every other thing remain. So I clean this off. I clean this off. Then I deleted this and call it what? Rent account. Rent. Rent accounts. In rent accounts, don't forget that the cash book rents was on which side was on the credit side because money was going out. And then on the rent account, you need to cross over to this side. So that means that on the 7th of April 2005, what happens? The rent cash was paid. For rent, so how much was it? Fifteen thousand naira. There was no other this in the end. No other. Was there any other rent? No. So what do you do? Balance on the thirtieth of April, twenty o five. Balance. Just what? Carry it down. How much? Fifteen thousand naira. So you balance the account by bringing 15,000 naira down. And then you balance here, say 15,000 naira, then you close it to lines. So that's it for the rent. The next one would be the drawings. And then we, do, we say that the company is different from, I think it's different from individuals. So since the proprietor himself made that drawing to pay his rent, and it was not meant for business, so there's no reasons on earth why we should treat that for business. Business cannot take up what was not meant for it. So the proprietor had to bear the, the cost of that, as I would call that drawings. So I'm going to open drawing accounts for the proprietor. Drawings account. So this is drawing account. Drawings account. See the same bullying? That what that was it? Drawing was what was on the credit side. So it crosses over to fulfill the double entry principle credits. So what do you do here? So here is the day. When was that? This was on the 11th of April 2005. In what form was the money paid? Was in cash. Then how much was it? How much? Well, 1,500. Then there was another one paid by bank. On the 30th of April 2005, the body, the source that the money was taken from, that was how much? 7,500 naira. So, how much is this? 9,000 naira. Close it. Then your balance carry forward. Balance. Just watch. Carried forward. How much? 
9,000 Naira. So you close the accounts, 9,000 Naira. So then the next one, by true withdrawings, next one is the, is the purchases accounts. Purchases account. Now to prepare purchase accounts now, purchases account. Then the purchase accounts, we have some items or sell to pests and some of the SC products and then we balance it up. So on the 4th of April, this are going up. 4th of April, 20 what? 2005. What happened? This man, don't forget what we did. Best, best uh, again is a what? How much was it? That's 28,000 naira purchase. And then another person here, Eva Green, on that same day, April 05, we call it by ACE product of, I say it's Eva product, but that's what we have there. How much was Eva products? 36,500. And then, there was another purchase made by bank. If you look at the cash book, you have a purchase. Purchases there that was done in 19th of April 2005. We called it what? Because the money was paid through, and this was 48,000 naira only. So, what do you do? You sum it up. You just add the 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then you get this amount 1, 1, 2, 500. Let me check that. 2,500. Then the balance on the 30th of April 2005. What happened? Balance. Carry forward. This will be under folio. Carry forward. How much is one one two five hundred? Bring it out to balance the account. One one two five hundred. You close in the two lines. So all the things like this. So we move to the best. But in accounts, these individuals here will have their individual ledger. So it takes a long time for the exam. You will not have such a comprehensive uh, 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 question like this, but you need to really understand what we are doing. So we are going to look at this. We just have some more time to conclude it. Let's look at this individual here. Sorry, I have to bring this. The next one is that we prepare this account of individual that may come that which we saw in the calculation of the computations. So we have by best okay. So we look at what is the transaction done by best okay. Best account. Best account. Account. You look at that question. You discover that in the best again account, there was um, purchase made. There was a return in afterwards. From, so we said that on the eighth eighth of April twenty oh five, best bargain returns some goods 
returns upwards. How much did it return? Was 3,000 naira worth of goods. Please look at that question. And then, what was actually the goods he bought? That was on the 4th of April 2005. What do you call it? Four cases. This is a good that he bought, sent to me, sent to the marvelous venture. And uh, what to how much was it? It was 36,500 naira. So since he returned 3,000 naira, what is the balance now? So this will be this, take away this. We have a difference here. Sorry, this was 28,000 naira. This was 28,000 naira. 28 for 28,000 naira. So if you subtract this from this, what will be the current? What will be the balance? The balance in that account will be balance carried down is how much? It's 25,000 naira. Now, if you add the two sides, you get the same amount. So you close this 28,000, you close it with two lines. And this is 28,000 to close it with two lines. So the next one will be which accounts are going to prepare evergreen products. And the person will call SCE products. Evergreen products. Evergreen products. Now, the same computations, evergreen products returned on the 8th of that same month, April, it will make some returns, returns upwards of how much? 4,500. What did he purchase? He purchased the uh, Goods worth how much? That is six thousand five hundred. Now, if you look at the difference between the, the product and the returns, he returned four thousand five hundred. Why? What of good was how much? Was uh, that is, that is six thousand five hundred. So, what is different here? The frame would be balance on what the thirtieth April twenty o five. Balance uh, carried uh, down to the amount. This of this, this should be thirty two thousand naira. Am I right? Thirty two thousand naira. So if you add two sides, you have thirty six thousand five hundred naira. You close it, then you bring this down. So your pain is out. Thirty six. 500. That's why I'm agreeing. Then the next account I'm preparing is the returns. It does have a few accounts. All right, please. We will now move them to the trivalence. So, let's look at the which account we're through with this. The next one will be returned average. Returns upward account. Returns upward account. Return upward account. Or later, sorry. Returns. Returns AdWords accounts. What do we have here? Look at it here. Return AdWords accounts. Well, the two sides here. On the 8th, April 2005, what happened? Best. Again, what happened? 
3,000 was retained. Then, wait again. On the same day, 05, Evergreen was the total amount of return for Evergreen, 4,500. So if you sum it up, discover the totals. The total here was what? 7,500. You close it. So we come to the debit side. Please don't forget to indicate this side of the accounts, this credit side. So the next one will be what will be uh, balance carried down on the 30th of April 2005. Balance carried down how much? Is the same amount is 7,500. So you close this account 7,500. Close it. So then, after the what next? We are going to prepare a sales accounts. Sales accounts. Don't forget, we are saying it's in the same format. So because the board is short and small, that's why I have to give it. Otherwise, I'm going to flow it down to the end of the ledger. So please don't forget that it's still the same because of the nature of our boards. The board is small, so we're managing it and having the segments. All right. So we're going to have here sales account now. Sales account. Sales account. In sales accounts, what were the items we have in sales accounts? Number one, the five papers and the stores were be our customers. So what do we do here? Sales in the category on the debit side. So in this sell account, you have to cross over to the credit side. So what do we have in sell accounts here? On the 10th of April 2005, in my favor of a customer, what was the total goods? 40,000 watts. Then another one the same day, 2005 was. Miracle store. How much? It was 25,000 naira. Oh, you are following the questions. Then you sum it up by what? This is uh, 65,000 naira. The two lines. Then the balance carried down. Balance carried forward here on 30th of April. 0405 balance carried forward. How much? Same to that here. 65,000 naira. Then you bring the same amount down because it's already paid. So you can see that the two length of account is here. Then the next one will be returns. Uh, sorry, we are going to prepare account for these two persons now in their later account. So I have defined, defined favor accounts. Divine favor is here. In this ledger, you have to cross on the surface accounts. So what do we have in divine favor? We have uh, here. Five people accounts. Well, sales to the five people was what? On the 10th of April, 05. What, in what form was it sales? So you have the information for divine. So how much was it? 40,000 naira. Yeah. 
But don't forget that the five legs of the tongues and the push came back, so the third inwards. So here we have the tens on what date? On the 12th of April 2005. What happened? Uh, there was a return inwards. Some goods were returned. Returned inwards. Was returned by the buying. How much was it? 4,000 there. Then, what's the difference now between? Sorry. Um, there was a cash of on the 30th of April, cash of C from divine cash. We now go to the cash, we we'll find this in the amount for 20,000 naira cash. So, what's then is the difference? They have a difference. So on the 30th of April 2005, balance the account or ledger of the bank payroll will stand at what 16,000. So if you add the total together, you have 40,000. So here it was 40,000 naira. So this is here 40,000. Is that okay? So this close the account. It's simple to do it. I mean, okay, the next one is to prepare account for where again a miracle store to have a major of its own. Miracle store to have a so we are looking at miracle store. Miracle store accounts. Miracle store accounts. Your debits here and your credits here. Miracle store just as we prepared for the uh, divine favor. What happened on what date? Miracle. Miracle on the tenth. 10th of April 2005, what happened? Some sale was made to Miracle. And what, what is the amount? Miracle was uh, 25,000 naira. But don't forget that Miracle returns goods worth 2,000 naira on the 12th of April 2005. 2005, what returns? Returns what? Return inward because the book came back. How much was it? 2000 naira. The miracle makes some cash return or pay some money to the to miracle ventures. So, how much he made on the 30th of April 2005? He made some transaction through the bank and pay part of his money. How much did he pay? 23,000 naira. 23,000 naira. This what it paid. So if you now add this and this, it will give you the same amount. And so you close the account. Bringing that is 25,000 naira. And close it. Then you sum this up 25,000 naira. And close it. So now the, the, we are making progress. Another major, uh, major one to prepare is the is the uh, return in what ledger? Return in what ledger? Return in what ledger? Okay. So this is a return in what ledger account. What do we have in returns? On the 12th, 12th of April 2005, what do we have? Divine favor made some return. Divine favor, return what? The return goes worth 4,000 naira. 
And then miracles saw the same day, miracle saw. The same day, return how much? Good was 2,000 naira. So, how much did you that return? It is 6,000 naira. So, you look at on the 30th of April 2005, what do you have here? You have balance, balance uh, carried forward. How much? 6,000 naira. So, what do you do? Just to balance it, and you bring the 6,000 naira and then you close accounts and balance it. That closes that account of returns. Returns inward. So the next one is the furniture account. Furniture account. That I this format because of time. Account we are preparing now is the furniture account. Furniture accounts. It's okay. Let's move on. Furniture accounts. Furniture accounts. Now, in the furniture accounts, what do you have? On the 16, or was furniture for 16. Of uh, what? 16 of April 2005. 20, what happened? Cash was dispersed. What is best to buy furniture of 20,000 naira? Have you? Good. Then on the 30th April 2005, what happened? Balance. Carried forward. How much is it? It's an amount twenty thousand. So this two account closes. So the next one will be the furniture disposal accounts. We have another account we call furniture disposal. And I remember when these assets or this furniture will disposed, we need to uh, disclose them in accounts. So we call it furniture. Dispose disposal accounts. It's because of time, that's why I don't have one in the but you can still do it as supposed to be. Look at disposal accounts. It was uh, Mr. Bright that. So on the 24th, 24th of April, 20. Oh five, Mr. Bright gets this. Mr. Bright, how much was it? Four thousand naira. So on the thirtieth, the balance was brought down. Balance uh, carried down. What then four thousand there? We do that now. Then the next one is the next one is uh, Mr. Bright account. Let's open account for Mr. Bright. Mr. Bright account. You can see here that in this ledger. All the individual accounts are displayed, displayed here. Every account has its own page. Mr. Bright, what did Mr. Bright do with this account? Or the scrap or the scrap. So on the 24th of April 2005, I see that Mr. there was furniture disposal. Disposal accounts. How does it? Don't forget, we just did that 4,000 naira. So, what happened to that 
the balance on the 30th of April 2005, what happened? The balance carries down. How much was it? 4,000 naira. This is the job the marker is bad, so we need to manage it. So, I mean, you have now, we have just have about uh, two items to run up. Well, let me see if our bed can carry us. So, we are going to prepare a later accounts for the Slex Auto Limited, the leader, dealers of the motor pay boat. So, by preparing slates, slates auto account, slates auto account. Now, what do you have here? What date was this slate? Uh, on the twenty four. Six twenty four or twenty fifth of April twenty o five. What a good bank was purchased from Sledge Company. How much was it? It was uh, twenty five thousand naira. So is that not I no? So we bring it down. So we said on that yet. April 20th for what happened balance. Those one carried forward how much? 25,000 naira. So you close six. The next one will be a payable disposal account. Payable disposal account. Motor payable disposal account. This postal accounts. Here we have a very good disposal accounts. I will go in here. This is your debits and this is your credits. By this into two. So in this postal account, what do you have here are scraps on the 19th of April bank receipt. Uh, bank how much? 15,000 naira. What was it for? It was for scraps, scraps uh, 26. 0405. Look at the scraps renewal. Renewals, how much? The sale amount of 15,000 there. So that's close that account. That's near that together. Then the next one will be the scrap account because. In the right hand side, we have each major account. So we now prepare account for craft. So we now call this craft renew renewal account. Same formats. What do you have here? Divided into two sections. Don't forget that scrap is essentially crossing over because of the principle of health. So now, in the scrap account, you have on the 26th of April 05, what happened here? You have variable disposal. Where do you want come from? This person, how much? 15,000 naira. 
then you break it into 26th of April. What happened? You have the balance. Uh, cash was received. Cash of amount was 10,000. Remember, we were doing the computation. Then, what is the balance now? The case of April 20. So, you call this what? Balance carried forward. Balance carried forward. How much? The difference between this and this should be there. What is the difference here? It's 5,000 there. So if you sum up, you need 10,000 there. You close it with two lines. So you break this with 10,000 there now. Two sides of account is balance. So the last there is the salary account. Salary account, sorry, yeah, this is not right. Salaries account the same patterns. Don't forget the format is the same. Divide into two here. This is the debit side of it, and this is the credit side. So in the cash book, salary was on the credit side because money goes out of the organization. Now that they are preparing a separate account for salary, they have to cross over in the field the principal, the double principal entry. So what do we do have here? The money was paid in bank on the 30th. Sorry, this is not writing. On the 30th of April 2005, what happened? Bank gave out the money. How much did bank give out? 19,500. 19,500. Am I right? Yes. Then, on the 30th of April, what? 2005, what happened? The balance you have. You have a credit balance. Balance brought carry forward. How much? Same 19,500. So you close this. Now, looking at the, cal cal uh, the computations and the structures of the individual's accounts, you can see that we are coming from the preparation of journals. And then from the journals, you now migrate to the ledgers. And ledger is very crucial in accounting. But this way, you need to know the balances of each of the account items. So, uh, eventually, after you have prepared this, the next account is going to move these items to try balance. I told the right time that try balance is actually the account that shows the arithmetical accuracy. You will have to check your mathematical and the transposition of those figures, whether you actually move the figure as supposed to be. So, uh, the next thing is that, in fact, all the items on your debit side will move, all the debit balances move to the debit balance, the debit side of your cash uh, tri balance, while the debit balances on the credit side moved into the credit side of your um, of your uh, tri balance. So, you if you follow this, this is a more comprehensive. Of all that we deal with when we are looking at the books of accounts and we look at the subsidiary uh, books of accounts, then we look at the ledger and the principal, principal book of accounts, and then we split it there. So, these the computations as I told. So, we are going to end this. I think the last thing we have done is a strange tribal of what the pain I have here, markers are not good. I am not good. Otherwise, we have just done the uh, the the tri balance. But the next sections, I will test the tri balance. Thank you very much. Thank you and happy this day. If you have any questions from this, please you can 
bring in the question in next class. I hope we have done justice to the training today or the, the lecture today is uh, the, such a wonderful one and I can see that you have enjoyed it. So what all that you need to do is that you have to actually go through this um, this uh, link, go through this material repeatedly so that you can master the accounts and how they are treated in their individuals, journals, ledgers, and then the tribalists. Thank you for listening once again. Thank you. Good night. Good day.